Three, two, one. We're back at you again with the show. Me, Moses, him, Ezekiel. Word. This is question number 10. Ten. Maybe. We'll see. Um, so this question is basically just about what are the rooms like? How many roommates do you have? Do you get your own bathroom? Do you get your own rooms? Um, unfortunately, you don't get your own rooms. You don't get your own bathrooms. Get your own mattress, which is good. You can get your own toothbrush. Um, so the rooms are just, they're pretty small. They're pretty small. I don't really know how big the measurements really are, but um, it's enough for four bunk beds to fit inside those rooms. I would say smaller than a football field, would you? I would say smaller than a football field, but bigger than an ant farm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, that's just to give you a reference of how big they are. Um, and in the rooms, we had four of us total, uh, me, and then my three roommates, him and his three roommates. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'd have a staff with you if they didn't have an apartment somewhere else. Um, and unfortunately for you guys, you might have more people in the rooms, but for us, they only had it at half capacity because mm -hmm. of COVID. So there might be eight people in that room sharing a small bathroom with four bunk beds. So, but you know, it, it's not that bad because you're only in the room to go to sleep. And when you wake mm -hmm. up, you can get out of there however early you want um, and just do the YWAM things. Also, your roommates are likely to come become some of your best friends. Yeah. Shout out Johnny, shout out Grant, shout out Brady. Shout out Bo, shout out Noah, shout out Hugh, my homies. And shout out LeBron James because he's my uncle. No, he's not. Yes, he is. And cut. <laughs> <laughs>
Dude, I can't lose. Wait, we can just cut it. Where? Like before I th start talking, because I didn't really need to talk. I can't believe I just did that. Because you were. You Go for it. Gang, we are getting tired. Um, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll try to respond as fast as possible. But closing thought from me, um, if you're on the edge about coming or not, go. Literally so many people went that were on the edge and God rocked them, changed their lives forever. They encountered Jesus for the first time, unlike any way they ever had before. And uh, saw so much breakthrough, met so many lifelong friends, got to travel Hawaii, travel wherever your DTS is gonna be. And it's six months for the rest of your life. Like you have so many more years to live. Just take six months and travel while you're still young and able to and not locked in on a job or whatever. Um, and even for me, like I went expecting to do this thing, go straight to college. Literally, I'm going back next year and doing a secondary school before going to college just because I loved it so much. So that's my closing thought. If you're on the edge, if you're on the fence, let this be the sign you needed to go. Mm -hmm. Moses here checking out. My closing thought is just, Ezekiel said it earlier, um, you get out of this thing what you put into it. So if you skip class twice a week, three times a week, you're not going to get a whole lot out of it. But if you go to class every week, you go to intercession every day, you go to every ministry night, um, and you do all these things, I guarantee you're going to get something out of it. And not only just do the things that they tell you to do, but while you're there, do the things they don't tell you to do, which is wake up two hours early and dive into the Word. Mm -hmm. Wake up three hours earlier and worship, go to the prayer room, then dive into the Word. Stay after class and ask the teachers questions. Mm -hmm. Just like I said, you get out of this thing what you put into it. Mm -hmm. And so now we're going to pray for you guys wherever you are. And there was my voice crack, but I don't care. We're going to pray. You're going to start and I'm going to close. Lord God, we just thank you for every single person that tuned into this video and watched and listened to it. Uh, I pray right now, Holy Spirit, that you would even touch them, God, encounter them in their rooms right now. Show them how much you love them, God, and how much you uh, care for them and care about whatever choice they make in the future. God, I just right now ask you for clear discernment and direction in their lives, God, to know uh, whether they should go to YWAM or not, God. I just I ask in Jesus' name that you would speak to them clearly for what they should do um, and make it very evident and make it clear whatever they should do, God. But I love you so much, God. And I thank you for what you did in my life, this experience. I pray that you do the same thing to their lives, regardless if they go or not. Yes, God, I just say we trust you. Mm -hmm. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Lord. Mm -hmm. um, wherever these people are in their walk with God, if they're just having this thought to go and they're just looking up YouTube videos or they're set to go this next year, mm -hmm. I just pray that your will be done, Lord. Mm -hmm. If they're watching this video on March 23rd, April 1st, November 1st, December 22nd. June 9th. June 9th, <laughs> October 23rd, which is my birthday. November 12th, which is mine. I just pray that your will be done, God. That you would speak to these people watching this video and we trust that the people that are watching this video are supposed to be watching it because you are the creator of the universe and uh, you know what you're doing. So in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. We this, love you guys. Yeah, we do. And as we said, Moses, Ezekiel, good night, America. Go in peace. Go in peace. <laughs> and psh. all right, sweet man.